thousands of Bahamians benefiting from the Bahamas feeding network, but no double dippings tolerated. In this three-part series, LaDawn Davis takes a look at the impact feeding needs, the network's partners, and how you can sign up. One out of every eight people live below the poverty line of less than $12 per day. And to cushion this startling reality, the Bahamas Feeding Network has served collectively about 100,000 Bahamians with food parcels and cooked meals monthly. Executive Assistant Nicolette Fountain Archer on the process. We do have a list of persons that we serve. First of all, though, we have about 100 feeding ministries, churches, um, community centers, who have feeding programs of their own. And the way that the Bahamas Feeding Network operates is that we're the umbrella organization. So we bring in the funds, we do the purchasing, and then we distribute. So what we would really like is for people in different communities to access those networks or those centers closest to them. Archer says that extensive tracking list was designed to ensure no one is double dipping when it comes to collecting food. She says the feeding network just recently spotted its first case. With our uh, partners, we ask that at the end of each month, they report back to us who gets the food. So they would give us a list of names and NIB numbers we like to cross-reference because we want to make sure that we're reaching as many people as possible. On average, $110,000 is spent a month on food. And while grateful to the many vendors, schools, and sponsors who give generously to the fight to eradicate hunger, Executive Director Father James Palacio says the high cost of food due to inflation has caused a setback in acquiring food supplies. The cost of food, and therefore it impacts people's ability to purchase because what you could have bought for $5 a year or two ago, you can't do that anymore. So yes, inflation is impacting that. But inflation is also impacting some of the donors, whether individual or corporate, their ability to give. As hunger statistics continue to soar, officials on the Bahamas Feeding Network say they plan to expand their reach to the family islands in the hopes of sensitizing the public on the need to feed. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm LeJohn Davis.